But it's getting hot in here. Whether you like it or not, we're heating up this thing, aren't we? Tomorrow we're going to call everybody we know and make sure they get to the polls, right? We're not going to let the weather stop us. Because the weather tried to stop us before. And it didn't. So it won't this time. And we're here today to celebrate a coalition for change. Leaders from across Georgia, from the veterans community, from the organized labor, even to the music and entertainment industry. They've all come out to support everybody together, Jim Martin for Senate. And right now, let me say that again, Jim Martin for Senate. And right now, I want to introduce you all an American hero. Stand up for veteran and military families doing it right here on this stage, Miss Tammy Duckworth. in Georgia again, although most of the times I spent here was at places like Fort Stewart, Fort yeah. Gordon, yeah. Savannah Army Depot. It's Ow. good to be here. It's good to be here because tomorrow we're about to do the right thing and elect Jim Martin to the United States Senate. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why from a veteran's perspective it's so important. In 2004, when I was flying my Black Hawk helicopter north of Baghdad, and I got hit with that rocket propelled grenade that blew up between my legs and took them off wow. and almost took off my right arm. Wow. The only thing that saved me were my buddies and the armor that I was wearing. The body armor that was protecting my body and the body and the armor that was in my helicopter that I was sitting in. In his six years in the United States Senate, yep. Saxby Chambliss has voted against providing armor for our troops. Wow. He has he has been against providing armored vehicles for our troops. And then when my buddies and I came home, he's been against the new GI Bill. He has been against the Web Amendment to make sure that our men and women in uniform, when they come home, they get a few extra months and a few extra years with their families before they turn right around and go right back over there. Here in Georgia, you've got a lot of military bases, you have a lot of military families, and I know from being a service member, having been here, that you love your veterans. You love, you love and you honor the men and women who are willing to put on the uniform of this great nation to fight for our freedoms, to fight for everything that we believe in. And one of the ways that you can do that is to make sure tonight and tomorrow you make those phone calls, you knock on those doors. Because let me tell you something, our guys overseas right now can't do it. And I can't go door to door anymore and I need you to do it for me. So get out there and make sure that you have a United States Senator who will not only vote in the interest